look at my value viewers last week's sales casio fx83 calculator 1115 delivered trivial pursuit box of cards 599 delivered. another trivial pursuit box of cards 599 delivered and the last ones i'm going to be selling sony bdp s185 multi-region dvd 4415 posted they've already given me feedback genuine hp printer power supply £10.20 delivered a foot for a BT hub last of the four that I had but I'll be looking out for more of them £6.65 delivered and it was a £1.15 envelope Logitech Wingman Attack 2 USB flight simulator joystick £14.19 delivered that's £10 plus postage Bose Soundport wireless Bluetooth headphones which I did give a good clean £55 delivered. Humax DTRT 1000 BT U View 54.99. This has been returned. They say it turns off after three hours. I believe it's meant to turn off after so many hours without you know use of the handset or resetting. But I will look into that. Vintage Disney Jungle Book Jigsaw free post £4.90. This was just clearance. It wasn't selling. I was lucky to get that really. I think it cost me £2. I'm not sure. It was in a charity shop. Xbox official logo light USB, nine ninety nine delivered. That's the price I set for it. I wasn't giving discount. It just sold. So I made I don't know five or so. Large Murano paperweight, green palm tree over gold, seventeen pounds. Paid five or for it though I think. Twenty three pound delivered. They paid six pound. It was two point three kilos of glass. Next was a BDP Sony thirty seven hundred. Uh, that, that was a streaming. DVD and Blu-ray player. I got $39.95 plus postage $44.15. That was nice. And I believe I paid a fiver for that about a fortnight ago. Mattel Scrabble. Mattel Scrabble from a couple of weeks ago. Um, I paid 50 pence for it and it sold for £9.20 delivered. Really not worth listing anymore. Willow Tree Promise by Susan Lordy figure. $14.19 delivered. Epson T7011. One of the inks I bought for three for a fiver. It was the black one though, the, the others probably won't sell. And I got eleven ninety nine delivered. Genuine BT switching power supply. They messaged me and said would I send it special delivery to get there for Friday. This was Wednesday I believe, it might have been Thursday. And I said yeah, no problem at all. Anyway, they paid 9.41am. I got it in the, in the special delivery. So they paid 13.94. Sorry, 23.94. Cluedo, this was the one in a wooden box. Very nice, sort of old fashioned design. £20.20 20 delivered. So 16 plus postage. Lego baseboard, 32 by 32, 7.95. Going out today, PS2 game. This one's called Smackdown, Here Comes the Pain, No Manual. Or at least it hasn't got a manual, but that is the title. And I got 6 95 for that. That's Smackdown. Pretty good. That cost me 30 pence, 6.95. And then I sold an HP ink. That cost me a pound, but I got 13.75 delivered. And it's um, October 22. Tricolor. And the last thing going out this morning from last week, I do have some from this week, is a memory card. 18.99 for a 32 megabyte card. Smart media. There you go. And that's the lot. End of the week's sales. 41751 uh, not brilliant not as good as the week before but you know it was bank holiday weekend while this sales were going on and i think it did affect it a little bit so onwards this week's sales up to now i mean it's monday morning you know a lot can happen in the next 24 hours or five days even so first thing i sold yesterday was a johnson universal developing tank pictures up there 1165 delivered it cost me this was one of the things from uh, the man with the green van and i believe i bought this at the same time as i paid a pound for the whole bundle so this was part of the pound bundle and i believe i've got i paid i got 7.95 for the memory card it might be an 8.95 and about 25 pound for the camera and so this is just gravy 11.65 delivered a vintage hostess trolley by woodmet which is a good make i think there's only about three makes of vintage hostess trolleys made out of metal anyway woodmet is probably the best it didn't have particularly good wheels but i got 30 pounds now i've had this over two years but i've only had it listed six months it's just awkward the wrong size for the old photo bay so i had to 
clear out a big section of the room in order to do it and I started at about £50. Anyway, I've sold it for 30 and 9 99 delivery. It could well be more than 9 99 delivery, but if it is, I'll just eat it because I've got rid of a big bulky object. I have disassembled it. You can see in the picture you can disassemble it and it now needs bubble wrapping, cardboarding and everything going in the big box. When I say a big box, I mean the box all my bubble wrap comes in. It's basically very thin cardboard and it just wraps around the bubble wrap but it's square well i'll be just be putting it in the bottom of that and then just wrapping it around once i've bubble wrapped it uh uprights at the front one main upright at the back with wheels on and then three shelves which you just screw on the bottom two four screws on each shelf for two of the shelves so it's only eight screws to reassemble it it's not bad at all actually next is this boyer microphone i bought i think about 10 of these Boyer microphones at a car boot. I sold most of them. I kept this one for myself. However, I've got a road one now. So this is paying for most of the road one. This went for £15 delivered. Mostly £17.99 and I had it up for £17.47. But I took an offer this morning, £15 delivered. And I'm happy to just get rid of it. I don't need it any longer. I'd only used it twice. This Lumix has two microphones built in and it's pretty good actually. As far as, well you can hear me can't you? I'm not sure about whether the tone of my voice is exactly as it is in reality. Uh, next was two of those. Well, I'll show you. Made a mistake on these, but it's been fixed, really. I got these two items for a pound each a couple of weeks ago, three weeks. Anyway, I've sold them both to the same person. It's a good job because I forgot to put postage on this. I got 17 49 each, which is, yeah... I'm more than happy with that. It's £35 basically. And I'd forgotten to put postage on this one. So I charged £4.20 on this one. So I'm getting £4.20 postage. By the time I've wrapped them and put them in a big box, it'll be about £7. You know, you just have to accept that. I'm not going back on it. I put it on a sell similar and the postage obviously didn't transfer over. It does happen occasionally. And then Homer Simpson mug. Obviously, you'll see a picture because this isn't very visual. And that went for £10 on an offer this morning from 11 50 £14.20 delivered. And that means, up to now this week, £168.34. pence. Well, you know, it's, it's only half ten. So, we'll see what happens. I've sent some offers out. Two of them are already accepted. Clear this lot, wrap it, post it. Back when I've sorted a few things out, and I'll show you what I bought yesterday. Welcome back to the garage. It's late in the day. I've done a lot of wrapping, done some other things. Got my book, what I bought yesterday. So, straight into it. North Cave, it was very busy once it arrived. I was there early as usual, lots of standing around, chatting to other resellers and chatting to other buyers who were there to buy for their shops and various things like that. What I did get was okay and cheap. So, straight off, first thing I bought was two Humaxes. This one, which is a FVP 4000T, it's got a real musty tobacco smell, so it needs a really good clean. It's a recorder. It could only be 500 gigabytes, but it says it's a 500, it says it right under. 4000T GB BR 500 GB. But of course, underneath, it's even browner because of the tobacco. Great, so yeah, a good clean, a really good clean on that one. And testing, obviously on the same stall i said to him how much do you want for him and he's like 10 on that one 15 on that and i'm like you do realize the second hand don't you i got that one for a fiver that i've just shown you that's smelly and this one i'm not sure whether it's come from the same place i don't think it smells as bad but it could have been just being in the same bag with that one eight pound with the remote instead of 10 I think he wanted 10 for each of them to start with. Not not 15 on this one. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, I got them both for 13. Um, I was ready to walk away at 10. And he's like, uh, what about 15? I'm like, no. I said, I'll do 12. And he'd come back at me on 13. And so I agreed to that. Reluctantly, you know, he says, oh, you're going to resell them. I said, yeah, but I want a profit as well. I don't want to be giving them away. I think sometimes just because they think we're going to make a profit that they can exploit us. And that isn't the answer. Something like this is going to take me half an hour cleaning, half an hour testing, and it might still smell and I'll have to reduce the price. Next was a little LED light. 
which is nice. Xbox. This was two pounds though. She wouldn't come down to a pound. Two pounds. It's quite a lot for one of those. Next I got 30 floppy disks. I went over to the store and I said how much are they? And she says a pound. Well the first one's got something on it. Atelier Roland Organ. I'll look it up but I don't think it's going to be saleable as is because obviously I can't test it out. I do have an old PC with a floppy drive in but it hasn't been turned on in donkey's years. I mean, I bought it for a fiver, so I don't even know whether it works. I haven't tested it yet. Round the back of that same stall, there was this, and actually, it was that way around. And I said to her, is that a magazine rack? And she says, oh yeah, it is, yeah. Ryan, but when you look at it, I think that's far too wide for a magazine rack. I think that's a light log stand or something else. If you know what it is, and it's not a log stand, let me know. But, uh, you know, you'd have to have some bloody big magazines to use this up. So I do think it's for, like, logs. But if I'm wrong, let me know. I got two rolls of wallpaper. These are grey and brown super fresco. 50 pence each. I don't think they're worth much. She wanted a pound for each roll, but I just said to her, would you do both for a pound? And she did. So I will look them up, but quite honestly, they'd probably go for wrapping. Another Humax. Anyway, it's in the bag with its remote. Nice and clean. And he put five pound with a manual. And there's a SCART. I think it's a SCART. Yeah, a SCART. And the power lead. And I said to him, would you do four? And he's like, no. So I give him a five for four. Eight, yeah. Fair enough. It's all bagged up. And, and then I thought he was going to charge me the same again for this. So it says five pounds. Photo bits and pieces. Five pound a lot. And I started looking through it because obviously I do like my photographic gear. And there's a, I plugged it in, it works, but it's a bit rough. It's a slide viewer for testing them out. There's lots and lots of these leather pouches with sort of light meters. Now he said to me, well, oh, most of them don't work. They're good for display. And there's a lot of flash light, flash things where you put your flash bulbs in. Curl shoe mounted flash bulbs for all. 1950s cameras little lens cases but with either a really small lens in or like a little bit of metal anyway it's, it's half full this box like bits of plastic that's for a lens meter but it's for a, a light meter but it's for a different type of light meter to the ones i've got so maybe it'll sell There's some little skylight filters for those are either video cameras or very small cameras quite a lot of those but in different sizes mostly like 19 millimeter 19 and a half millimeter 22 millimeter this sort of thing that's like three filters together don't know whether they're any good uh, there's another one another light meter another light meter another light meter an extension lead for a flash and then there's these things which i'll, I'll open this one just to show you they're sort of expand round and clip together and that goes into the shoe on top of the camera an old camera obviously and that plugs into the electrical part and you put one of those one single use flash bulbs in there so you know how old that is very old indeed sort of late 50s early 60s and there's one two three four of those i personally think i'll just job lock most of these up some more light meters another light meter another one but that's russian that's a flash bulb thing but there was something i found in here anyway i'm looking at it and he's like i'll do the whole lot for four pound i'm like I, I was hoping to find something for 50 pence that i could buy of him and he's like how about three and i'm like oh okay then Anyway, I was going to just put them all in the bag and he's like, oh no, don't you want the box? It's a really strong box, I'm thinking. Well, I might as well take it because, I mean, yeah, it is a nice box, actually. But I did find these two things. This is a water meter from Germany, all in aluminium, 1950s. And what it is, is it's a range finder for cameras that uh, you had to estimate the distance on that didn't have a range finder built in. The ones that where it was manual focus that you estimated the distance on they're really old like you know mid 50s if that um maybe early 50s late 40s actually 
Anyway, what happens with this is you put your eye to it and it gives you two images and you've got to line them up. One's a bit green tinged and one's a bit red tinged and I think it's because of the um, optics. They're normally like a prism that moves back and forward. And when you moved it back and forward, you can read the distance. If you look at this one, it'll find it for you. You can see there's a, a dial on that one. So what happens is you, you put your eye together you get your tinged colours and you line them up so that they line up. This one's too far, too close. Ah, that, that'll do it. And it'll tell you exactly how far away from the camera I am. And it says I'm three feet away. Actually, just a bit under three feet away. But this one, the wattometer, it's actually got a scale inside. And you can read it off the side. So when you line up the images, it says 22 inches because I'm a bit closer now. Anyway, those are like 20 to 30 quid each. I don't think I'd get anything like that, but that's what people are trying to sell them for. Those are the star from the box. But as I say, there's still more light meters, more light meters. And then there's a, a Rondo. This is another one of those. This one doesn't seem to have any varied either focus or color way. So I think this isn't working. But for display purposes, it's really nice looking. And it comes in a leather case. Then there's instruction booklets. Another Agfa thing. Some more little lenses in leather boxes. And that lot costs three pounds. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I think these, I might have the Russian one on separately, but the, the others, and certainly these um, flash bulb things, they'll all go on as a job lot. And hopefully I'll just get rid of them. But the, the two working range finders I'll be selling separately. And a couple of these filters I'll sell separately. Not a bad purchase for three pound really. You can always find value in this sort of um, multiple job lot stuff. Especially when they're just clearing out somebody's old house, you know, somebody deceased probably. And one other thing I bought, uh, two other things I bought. There's a Panas there's two Panasonics. And only one remote. So this one's a S48, I believe, which is just a DVD player. Pretty bog standard DVD player, that one. Can't be unlocked. And this one's a DMP BDT120, and I can unlock this one. So yeah, it's Blu-ray. All there is is stop and play. I'm not sure which one the remote goes to. One of them, the remote should work. The other one needs a remote. But I've been getting remotes recently quite a lot and I can get them for most of the time for the things like Panasonic's for uh, six pounds, six pound 50 at max. I got two remotes delivered over the weekend. One's for Panasonic, one's for Sony. So they're needing testing to make sure that they work with what I bought them for. I didn't buy them until I'd tested the machine itself. But now I have, I need to test the remote against the machine to make sure that the functions work properly. And then I can put them on. So that is at least another two to list. And then, as I say, find out which one was this for. So there's another one to list on top of those two smelly ones. I also got this, this pile for five pounds. Lego Marvel superheroes, Until Dawn for the PS4, Naughty Bear, Xbox 360 quite a range Mario Kart Wii unfortunately no disc however just so happens I was testing some um some Wii's over the weekend some Wii games that I was listing and this was inside one of them that I'd bought a couple of weeks ago for about five or seven quid anyway that I've tested is going in there and I'll be listing that and uh, Wii controller with no back, but it looks nice and clean. So Hopefully it'll work. Right. That was North Cave and it cost 33 pound in total. Now I'm going to do Hull. Just before 8 I left and I went back to Hull. Got some good stuff. So first thing I saw was this Sony CFD S50. I've had these a couple of times before and I got this for a similar price actually um, it's all working. You've got a cassette, you've got a CD, and obviously you have a radio tuner, FM, AM. And then it has also got a audio in mode, which is around the back. It also runs on batteries or mains, and it has a proper aerial. There you go. Three pounds though. 
can't go wrong, can you? I said to the woman, would you, she says oh, it's a fiver, would you take three? And she, without, without a, a, a second, she said yes. So she was obviously motivated to get rid of their stuff, which, you know, I admire anyone who just says, clear it all out. I want rid. I wish I could do that, seriously. I wish I could just say, right, I'm gonna declutter and just donate everything that they'll take, you know? If I wanted to clear it out, that was probably the best, best way of doing it. In fact, I've seen a couple of times recently on the car boots, uh, people having a big box at the side of the stall and it just says free, you know, free, take it away. Anything you like in there, take it away. I'm glad this wasn't taken away because this would have been taken away ahead of time. This is a Logitech K800 keyboard. It is Bluetooth, but it also meant to have a Bluetooth dongle. Now I have a unifying dongle for this, which I got in with something else and it does have a Logitech sign on it. So this doesn't have one. So I said, would you do it for two pound? And she says, yes, they were happy to take two pound for this. These are going for 45, 50 pounds. I'm not sure whether that's, that's with a dongle or without one, but yeah, I can get this running. I mean, turns on, powers up, there you go. Lights up, turns on. I haven't had it connected to my computer yet, but um, with a dongle, and I do have, like I said, I have a Logitech dongle for it. Nice, and two pounds to go into maybe 50, maybe 40. Next, there was a couple of these. That one and that one. You can't really see them lighting up, but they do light up. It's too bright. Back there, you might be able to see that they're lit up. Kylo Ren's lightsabers, they were two pounds each. Hopefully they'll go for like 15 to 16, maybe more each um that'd be nice i don't know whether that'd be the delivered price or not and on the same stall i got a stay puffed marshmallow man this is a playmobil figure he's a bit dirty and somebody's had a pen on him but i can get that i'm not sure where i'll be able to get the pen where it goes over the printed surface but i'll get all the rest off even if i have to just mask off the printed bit it's a bit grubby but once it's cleaned up these are going for 10 pound plus but sometimes it's just 10 pound delivered I've seen it go as low as seven or eight nine ninety nine delivered, but you know you can't go wrong. Next, I got a box set Afro Samurai. There you go, and it's Samuel J L Jackson doing the voiceover. It's a manga. You might call it anime, but quite honestly, anime is a bit too cutesy for that sort of thing. This is just um, violent manga, really. Episodes and extras. There's a sort of director's cut version. It's called the director's cut edition. And that's all you get, the box and the discs. It's not gonna fetch a lot, but I wanted to watch it. I've heard about it and haven't seen it. It's not the sort of thing they put on TV these days, unless you're like streaming one of those manga things. Next there was these, these are nice. There's a slight mark there. Can you see that mark there? Otherwise they're really, really good condition. These are called former and they're biker boots, obviously. You were. Uh, Open these, there, there's a zip. You have to open the top as well because it's all hook and loop. To hold it in, there's a hook and loop holder and that opens that and then you've got your uh, foot goes in there. It's not really very often that I do shoes or boots. Occasionally, if I see football boots, trainers, I'll buy them. But these were a fiver in really good condition. The soles look hardly worn at all. And I've just noticed that, that, that there's that mark on the inside there, which I, I will point out. The surface of the leather's been slightly damaged. I don't think it'll make any difference to the structural integrity. As you can see, it's just a bit of slight damage there. It will detract from the value, but it cost me a fiver, so I should, I should be okay with that. I'm not sure, maybe 40, maybe 35. I've got a grow clock for two pounds. She wanted three, but I'm, every time somebody asked, a, told me a price yesterday, I was just going for, would you take two pound off the price? Would you take a pound off the price? Obviously, if somebody offers you three, you're not coming back at one pound, but I certainly could come back at two. And that's what I did. Next was this. I keep saying I don't want things I need to test and repair. I couldn't really leave this behind. This is a tanning lamp. It's very, very much 
well it's basically exactly the same as a Philips tanning lamp but it doesn't have a Philips brand on it it's called Tensor Marketing but if you look at it basically identical and it has Philips uh, tubes I've had the Philips version before in a Philips box and I got like 89 quid or something anyway this cost three pounds down from five I believe she wanted at first but then I saw this there um, and yeah it's broken the cable when I say the cable it's the outer PVC coating only the actual wire is solid and complete wouldn't pass a pack test there's a little timing thing there there you go so that's working we'll have it on long because uh, I haven't got my sun goggles on that cost three pounds down from five and yeah what I'll do is open the casing shove the wire a bit further in um, and reconnect the ends so that it's not a damaged cable and yeah looking for 35 45 maybe I don't know again I'm not certain because it's not Philips even though it's identical to a Philips when I say identical I mean like same molding and everything it doesn't just look similar it's like identical and then I got some of these shelf supports not sure whether they're meant to go that way up or that way up and be tension or pressure doesn't matter I got eight for two pounds it was off he was offering four for a pound and I got eight because I could do with some shelving in here actually certainly over my packing area I'm thinking of moving all my um, boxes and envelopes so that they're closest to the packing area and my laptop now that I've got that Mac in my back bedroom don't need the laptop every day for listing so it's going to come down here and stay permanently as a wrapping and labeling computer so I don't have to drag the stuff that I've actually taken down to wrap out of the garage upstairs to put labels on and then back into the the front to take put, put in my car and go to the post office they'll go from this door out this door here straight into the car and then whoosh, post office it will speed it along and I don't need this area all the time now because I've got me other table fit, fitted up I still haven't changed the lights so that's something I've got to do in order to be able to list a lot faster fingers crossed it'll help with my listing challenge that um, Pete sales of the unexpected is doing a listing challenge and I, I thought I'd take part and get some listed obviously I've got a lot here to list so this lot as usual the easy stuff gets listed first and then the other stuff not back burner not this week I will put the effort in to get some more listed and in fact I'll be starting tonight and that's it that was in total with North Cave 59 pounds I know I've been doing less and less over the last few weeks and the reason being is I've got more and more in here that I haven't got listed yet I have to have less in order to give base and time get the stuff that I've accumulated in the last six months listed it's a strategy because I've always got more than I need I'm gonna say goodbye I'm gonna go and get myself a steak and I might come back and do some photography and get listed right speak to you later